had was if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And that basically means if you're always ready and prepared, then you never have to get ready and prepared. And this leads to confidence and competence and courage and makes you show up the way you're supposed to show up, makes you, again, bulletproof. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And today we are talking about preparation. We have we have some upcoming episodes coming up on procrastination, decision making, also confidence and courage and faith over fear and things like that. We've had tons of similar episodes that kind of tie into this one, but this one's about just being prepared. How do you set the stage? to have the confidence. How do you set the stage to beat procrastination? And it has to do with what we're going to go over today. It's very simple. It's an acronym and I need acronyms for everything because I'm just a knucklehead and I need an acronym to, for everything. I love creating those kind of frameworks. So we're going to give you the framework for being prepared. And I have, a, we have, I have a saying, one of my overarching core values that's in every single business I ever freaking had was if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. And that basically means if you're always ready, and prepared, then you never have to get ready and prepared. And this leads to confidence and competence and courage and makes you show up the way you're supposed to show up, makes you, again, bullshit bulletproof. We talk about that a lot because if you're prepared, then you don't have to worry about the bullshit going on around you. You're ready for anything that comes your way. And that's what this Prepare is all about. So we're going to break down prepare into an acronym. We might have even briefly mentioned in some other episodes. I wanted to dedicate an entire episode to this because this is how you prepare to be confident, to build your confidence, to operate with with excellence. And it's actually one of the E's, how to have courage in everything you're doing in freaking life if you're prepared. So the first P in prepared is for practice. Now, this is where you I mean you know what practice is, but you want to think about practice as in you're practicing when you're practicing and then executing on money, meaning you are attacking when it comes to the, the game. You can't go and practice when it's the, the money's on the line or the championship is online. The practice already needs to have happened a ton of time. Really practice when it comes down to if you think about it, and preparation in general is 90% of the outcome, 90% of the game. The 10% is the actual game itself. Think about a, a fighter fighting for a championship fight, boxing. We're talking about 12 three-minute rounds. That's 36 minutes of actual boxing maximum. Might only last a minute if there's an early knockout. Or UFC is five five-minute rounds. Or even a non-championship fight, three five-minute rounds. So think about that. 15 minutes for a big fight. For superstars, the highest level athletes, a 15-minute fight, those guys will train and practice for eight weeks, 10 weeks, 15 weeks, whatever it is, because they know that practice is what's going to, 90% of the time on practice, and that goes for any sport, is going to lead to the excellence in the 10% on the game. So the practice is important. That's what gives you the confidence. You know you practiced. You In sales, practicing is role-playing. Get a partner and, and go and role play or practice your sales out loud or get in front of a mirror or record yourself in whatever you're doing to see yourself so you can you can reflect on it and make it even better. And that's what a, how, what a fight camp is all about, practicing on practice so you can execute and make the impact on, on the, in the game or when it comes to the money. That's the first P. The R is for repetition. So yeah, we need to practice, but not just once in a while, we need to do it over and over and over again. Let's say you want to become a better speaker and you want to speak on stages. You better practice telling your stories, telling your jokes, practice having every story, having a lesson and every lesson, having a story. Practice your delivery, practicing your body language, your tonality, your enthusiasm. Like you need to get those repetitions in over and over so that it becomes automatic. And 
even if you fail, even if you fuck up, those repetitions, you keep getting the reps in and so they get even better all the time. And this is where you start building up that competence when you're doing it over and over again. The practice is just a start, but then the repetition means you're practicing over and over again with a rhythm, with a beat, with a purpose, with intentionality, getting those reps in, getting those sets and reps in. And the E then goes into excellence. And this means not half-assing anything, going all in, all out on anything you do. You've heard the, the term, how you do anything is how you do, how you do anything is how you do everything. That also ties into the excellence is if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game, which I talked about pretty much opened up this with. If you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game because you are always operating with a level of excellence. Remember back when I had gyms in New York, I had a a free boxing class every Thursday, did it for 11 years. Every Thursday, I think only time we didn't do it was Thanksgiving and we might have even done it on Thanksgiving morning a few years. It might have never missed 11 years of every single Thursday, we'd open up the gym to people from all over the community can come in for free. And it was, it was known all across the county that Thursday night was free boxing day. And then it was free boxing slash boot camp. We'd mix in some, some workouts into that with it. And I had a, a client one time who told me that his boss in from his district or whatever, somewhere in the education system was like the dist, I don't know the name of it, whatever it is, the superintendent or something like that of the whole school district was coming in to, to try out this free boxing class. And he, and the, and the guy told me, so make sure you make it a good class. I was like, listen, bro, I only use bro in very specific scenarios. And this is one of them. Listen, bro, I don't need to make it a good class just because some hot shot is coming in. I'm going to show up every day, every single class, seven days a week for every single session of anything I go to do show up with. I'm going to show up with a level of excellence and pride in the way I show up and the way I carry myself and the, the product and service that I'm delivering no matter what. I don't care if there's one fucking person that shows up or one million people. I don't care if it's Michael Jordan that shows up, Michael Jackson or Mike Tyson or Mike from down the street. I don't give a shit who shows up. I'm going to show up with a level of excellence and go above and beyond and go the extra mile so I don't have to worry about upgrading my performance for certain individuals. I'm going to bring the fucking fire every second of every second. That's the way it is. That's what excellence is. That's what if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game means. That's what how you do anything is how you do everything means. Operating with that level of excellence. And that's the E in prepare. Now, the, the next P is to push and pressure yourself. Not just push and pressure yourself. So push and pressure. Push and pressure yourself. Push and pressure others. Push and pressure your limits, your beliefs, your boundaries. Push and press yourself out to the edge of what you're capable of so that you're ready for anything because you pushed and pressured yourself already. You manufactured adversity. You did a lot of hard shit. You prepared for the hardships, for the every potential thing that might happen, and you are ready for it. So you pushed and pressured to the edge of what is possible, but also pushed and pressured your limiting beliefs and your limits and your boundaries and push and pressure the other people that are involved in this in this situation that you need to prepare for because you can't just be prepared yourself you got to make sure your people around you are prepared so that's what that next p is for is a push and pressure leads us to the a in prepare and and there's this is a two for one deal i literally just added in the second part it always it was ask questions and that means ask questions to yourself ask questions to peers to experts of people who are where you want to be or who have done what you're preparing for so you can properly get ready for it. Ask questions of, you're going to speak at a a conference and you're going to be up on stage. Ask questions about the audience. Who's going to be there? What's What would bring the the greatest, when I go on the podcast, I ask the podcast hosts all the time, what would be the greatest value to your audience that I could personally bring? What is the outcome you're looking for with our podcast episode? What would a win look like where we walk away and you're like, that's what I wanted out of this podcast episode. Ask questions and that helps you prepare. And that's what that other A is. But also ask questions, meaning asking for feedback. Asking for people to give you feedback on your previous performance, on whatever else it is. So you can prepare to prepare 
to make it even better than, than it was. And the A in there also, there's two A's in there, is anticipate. Always anticipate all the possible outcomes. But obviously, we, we want to be prepared for the worst, but expect the best. But anticipate anything that can go wrong so you have contingency plans. I know people say there's no plan B, but I a lot of times that, that's not the smartest idea because you need to know what direction you're going to go in. If this happens, this is how I respond. If this happens, this is how I'm going to do this. You need to anticipate what might go wrong. That doesn't mean you're going to stress over it and worry about it. It just means you are prepared that nothing's going to knock you off. If you're only, this is all I'm going to do, and then something comes out of left field, you're off. You're going to get knocked off course and not be prepared, and you're not even going to be able to stay on track of that because you have no other opportunities or no other options. So the A is for asking questions and anticipate, which leads us to the next R, which ties into that anticipate piece is reflection. Reflect on your previous performances. Reflect on other outcomes you had. Reflect on mistakes you made. How can I get even better? You need to be reflecting daily, monthly, quarterly, yearly. You need to be reflecting on your performances. You need to get, again, that, that ask question ties into reflection. Also, ask other people to give you some, some feedback and reflection also. You need to reflect. The only way to get better is to reflect on where you were. What could I do better? What could I do differently? What could I do new? How could I be even better? You need to reflect. And I do reflections and, and we, we've had a full episode on that in the past. Go check it out on reflections and, and routines and stuff like that where I do reflections literally every single day, seven days a week. Then I do it on a weekly basis for reflecting on the week. Then I do it on a monthly basis reflecting on the month and then also on a every 90 day, a quarterly basis and then even a yearly basis where you're reflecting on that time period, setting new goals, seeing what went well, what didn't go well, what went well you need to do more of, what, where can you exploit some opportunities, what, it, what didn't go well you need to learn the lessons from so you can get even better and, and make it better and, and weaponize the, the fuck ups and failures from that amount of time. Reflection is how you get prepared for what's next by reflecting on what you've already done what you've accomplished. Also reflecting has to do with, with acknowledging your wins. Reflect on your wins to give you that boost in confidence and momentum so that you're more prepared to accelerate forward and fucking explode into the next thing you're doing. So reflecting also on the wins, not just the bad shit. Reflect on the wins to build a momentum. That helps you get prepared also because you want to know what worked and give yourself that confidence boost and stack those small wins. And the final E in prepare is educate. Educate yourself, educate your others. So doing the due diligence, doing the reading, the studying, the researching, whatever you need to do, learn something and then teach it. That's what real education is. That's when, when the lessons really freaking stick in from the reflecting that you did on the R. We're talking about lifelong learning. Learn something new every day, constantly getting better, learning more, educating yourself. And that helps you be prepared. The more knowledge you have, that's what preparing is. You are preparing. You are going, showing up with, in a, in a, a talk that you're doing, you're, you're educating yourself on statistics and numbers and stories and lessons. You are educating yourself on history and facts and whatever ties into whatever the thing you're doing. Educate yourself. Constantly educate yourself. Be committed to lifelong learning. And these are all what it takes to be prepared, which leads to that confidence and competence and courage. So you show up with your head up, your chest out, your shoulders back and down, ready to fucking attack whatever you're going into because you're prepared and you're ready for anything. Because if you're always on your A game, you never have to get on your A game. If you're always ready and prepared, you never have to get ready and prepared. Preparation just means you know you put in the time, the energy, the effort, the work, the grind, the hustle, the practice, the repetitions. You asked the right questions. You educated yourself and studied. You made the sacrifices that you needed to make to be successful so you can be confident. And that's a fucking advantage. That is a superpower. Preparation is confidence. Preparation is a superpower. It's a cheat. 
Imagine showing up to something where you are prepared, doing all these things we're talking about against someone who only did some of them or none of them. You're talking about pure fucking domination when you are showing up prepared. Preparation leads to domination. I mean, I never even said that before. I'm writing it down because that's a whole separate section. That's a whole post to do. Preparation leads to domination. And look, always educating yourself, always reflecting, always getting better, lifelong learning. I'm literally learning stuff as I'm talking to you about this. Preparation leads to domination. And to be a confident man and show up with confidence the way you should show up as a man, so you're not slouching and talking and not making eye contact and not, not taking missing opportunities that are coming your way. And we did another episode recently on your potential and not wasting your potential and thinking big. You can only do that if you're confident and you can only be confident and have this courage and competence if you are prepared. So to be a confident man, you must know that you've done everything in your power and in your capability to freaking prepare. So just to recap those real quick, that preparation was practice, it was repetition, it was excellence, it was push and pressure, it was ask questions and anticipate, it was reflection, and it was educate. This is how you properly prepare so you could show up with confidence. And these are things we work on in the Freak Follow Alliance to show you and work with you and collaborate on how to show up to every situation with your mindset your family, your fitness, your business, so that you're showing up the way you should be showing up, how to be prepared, how to show up with as a confident man as you should in the Freak Father Alliance, which is a men's mentorship group coaching program where I help entrepreneurial fathers and men develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, make a bigger impact so they can attack their mission to create their ideal lifestyle with time, freedom for their families. And the only way to do all those things is to prepare, to be prepared, to have the confidence, competence, and courage from being prepared Allow will allow you to build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning, make a bigger impact, attack your mission, create your ideal lifestyle, and have more time, freedom for your families if you are prepared. Break this stuff down. Break it down. Review that acronym. I want to hear about how you prepared recently for a different a situation where it gave you confidence. I want to hear some examples. Like for these epi- for the everyone of these episodes, I record anywhere from 3 to 4 episodes at a time. We sit here, we lock it in and we're in the mode to record these episodes. But you know it took 2 to 3 weeks to prepare these episodes, to put everything together, to the the episodes that need stories or statistics to do the research. I am going through that checklist for every one of these episodes multiple times. I am practicing every one of these episodes. I am getting repetitions in, so practicing it multiple times. I am working on the excellence of it to make sure it's sharp and the way it needs to be and it flows and makes sense and is entertaining and sometimes funny and sometimes a lot of stories and sometimes jokes. I am pushing and pressuring myself to get these episodes on a weekly basis. There's a lot of pushing myself to the the edges and to the limits then I'm asking questions of, of myself. I'm uh, asking questions of other experts to help me put these episodes together. I'm then reflecting on previous episodes. I'm reflecting on the topics that I'm talking about. Reflecting on things I've done myself that tie into reflecting on previous stories or whatever that has to do with this topic. And then I'm also educating myself and doing some research finding the quotes that I need, finding examples in history of of whatever it is we're talking about sometimes. Today's a real quick, short and punchy one, but I'm literally doing going through this whole process for every episode. And I'm going through that a few times for every single episode. Or if I'm going to speak on stage at an event, I'm going through this whole prepare steps and this framework every single time. So I could show up as a confident man and this is how you can show up as a confident man you're intended to be And again, this is what we do in the Freak Father Alliance. So if you want information on the Freak Father Alliance, a men's mentorship group coaching program, just also put a comment down below or just send me a private message and I will hook you up and get you started because we work on this stuff on a daily basis. We go deep and dark and internal on all these things that you see in the Steve Eckert Show podcast. So send me a message. I want to hear about how you prepare and how it leads to your success and your confidence. Put in the comments down below. 
contact me about the Freak Follow Alliance. We will get you up and running. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.